as we get our garden organized here, you know, with the sun finally starting to peek out from the clouds here and there, lots of us are getting the urge to start gardening. And today, Phil Steinauer with Designscapes Colorado joins us to help people who start their own backyard gardens one square foot at a time. And this is a great model of what you have planned. What do you have up your sleeve today? Okay, we're going to talk about square foot gardening. And this is a concept that was developed about 20 years ago. Um, and it's really a simplified version uh, of gardening. And what's great about it is it saves 80% of the water, 80% of the waste, 80% of the weeds, and 80% um, of the space. So you're eliminating all those problems that you normally have with traditional row gardening. So this is a nice box. I'm yep. going to just shift it a little bit so people can see that this is a box. You use two by fours here? You do. This is actually one by six. What? These okay. are six inches. You only need it to be six inches deep. Okay. Uh, it's really easy to build, literally two screws on each end. A lot of times you can get free lumber at an old construction site or even at, I got this at Home Depot and they had it in their coal pile because you don't mind if they're a little warped or damaged. Um, so very inexpensive. Okay, so six inches for depth is, yep, is what is you recommend. You and this is a nice scale model. You said this was yeah, two this by two. Yeah, this is a two by two. So this is great two for... Two feet by two feet. Yep. Okay, but could you really get a garden out of a space this small? Yes, and, and wow. really the, the, the real version, what one four by four square, you would end up with 16 different boxes. So you'd have 16 different plants and that would feed one individual person for the growing season. So again, if you have two people in your family that you're feeding, then you'd need two four by four boxes. So this is very exciting. All yep. right, so each one of these squares is a foot. Yep. All right. And so you really want to start to think with square foot gardening in squares versus traditional gardening is in rows. And how you do that is, let me talk about soil real sure, fast. Sure, sure. Um, soil is very important. And the man that developed this square foot gardening uses a mix and it's equal parts. So one third compost, one third peat moss, and one third vermiculite. And, and so however big your garden is, just use equal parts uh, of your soil mix. Mix that all up, put it in your garden. Okay. And then when you go to plant, all the seed packets have um, a spacing chart. So sure. like a tomato, you plant on 12 inch centers. So all I'm right, gonna have so you plant your we're tomato. Planting, so envision <laughs> soil in your box, which yep. is laying down flat. And this would be you, for your tomatoes. Yeah. Yep. Hang in there, tomatoes. Something that, again, doesn't need as much spacing, a cucumber, is uh, you would do two per box. And you can go ah. online. There's a great number of sources that tell you the spacing per box. Okay. If your plant says six inches on center, like corn does, then you would put that right there and you'd end up with four. And you can see how you bisect. So again, you're working in smaller squares. So you're always working in squares. But but this is telling us that we could have four, four corn, corn per one foot square. Four corn plants there. And then this is carrots, which are your smaller vegetables. And again, you could get 16 per square. So you divided it and then one in each corner. Wow. Um, so and at the end of the summer, you will, have, you will have a great harvest. The great harvest, you save water. These don't require any pesticides or herbicides, so they're very earth friendly um, and because since, you're working in a small space. And they are crowding out any potential weeds. Yes, I and love then this. You can film. weed it in two seconds. Wonderful. Well, if you'd like more information, we'll put a link with more info on the denverchannel.com for you, and I'll also tweet and Facebook this segment. But right now, let's.